We will begin the ceremony today with a minute of silence in memory of the victims of the Holocaust. May I kindly request you to all rise for that minute of silence. The Holocaust was a turning point in the history of mankind. This was the defining moment when humanity collectively agreed that such a crime should never be allowed to happen again. It is fitting that the General Assembly resolution which established this International Day calls not only for remembrance of the untold suffering of the Holocaust victims but also remind us that we have a moral obligation to warn against the horrors of hatred and prejudice to prevent future acts of genocide. We look back today in shared While the lives of so many were taken, the spirit lives on, their dreams have never died. Today, on behalf of the six million, we say loudly and clearly, nothing, nothing can break the 5,000-year-old chain of Jewish history. I, one for all. Every year from this very podium, the Iranian president denies the Holocaust while threatening to carry out another one. Every day, Hamas teaches anti-Semitism to the next generation of children in Gaza, telling them that the Holocaust is, and I quote, a lie made up by Zionists. Similar messages echo across the Arab world. Our duty has never, never been clear. The hands of time threaten to cloud the world's memory. It is our responsibility to rescue the history and the lessons of the Holocaust, just as the men and women that we honored today rescued its victims. It is our responsibility to teach the values of tolerance, to educate our children so that they live together as one human family. Male Rahamim Shochen Bameromi Hametzem and Uchan Echona Al Kanefe Hashechina. 